is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're gonna be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today we're gonna be recapping a lot of the stuff that came out as news for the horror genre last week while also addressing something with chucky season three since i haven't talked about it yet i'm also gonna do a everything we know about chucky season three part two video this week but jumping into this video starting off here the faculty the faculty is reportedly getting a remake produced by robert rodriguez i made a video discussing it last week and how i'd love for jordan peele to be able to write and direct it but i know there are still several people who would rather this entire concept of remaking this underrated 90s gym stay in the drafts or whatever hellish hellish abyss you think it crawled out of honestly it's important to remember as i mentioned in that video the Faculty is not some well-received, overly popular movie that has worldwide acclaim and it was not some worldwide financial hit. It's just one of the more underrated Scream leftovers that we got in the 90s that left several folks divided at the time. I love the theories I'm seeing though on where to take Casey and the gang in modern legacy sequel like this remake could actually end up still being a legacy sequel let's keep that in mind uh i've seen concepts like some of you say make casey stokely and everyone else teachers make the students the ones who are invaded by the aliens and they can go after the teachers so kind of a reverse of what the original was since it was the teachers going after the students i like that and again i have to revisit this film because it's probably been two or three years since i've watched the faculty um, I'll have to check that out, but I do think that there is an opportunity here for this remake to be one of the more favorable remakes of an IP that we've gotten in recent memory, as opposed to remaking a movie like Jaws, for instance, or remaking The Shining. Like we don't, we don't need stuff like that. This is a '90s classic, an underrated gem, but I have faith that this can somehow surpass what we got in the '90s. Now, diving into Scream Seven. Scream 7 had this production weekly update this week, which is dated from November of 2023, I might add. And it has convinced everyone that Guy Busick is back in, in despite Variety and comic book being the only outlets I've seen mentioning Guy Busick. I know 100% Guy was involved with the original draft because Variety confirmed it when it was reported that he and James would pin the new screenplay. However, the Hollywood Reporter, who was also reputable, has left Guy out on two separate occasions and without saying he's gone, has indicated James Vanderbilt is going at this screenplay process alone. We'll just have to wait and see, but the biggest confirmation we got from the Hollywood Reporter when Landon quit or left the project was that his involvement with the screenplay was 100% occurring. As the Hollywood Reporter notes, he shouldered the story with Vanderbilt. So I wonder how much of this old draft was Christopher Landon's idea. How much of this stuff that I told you guys about actually came from Chris Landon, such as the fact that was the Christmas setting Christopher Landon's idea? All the other stuff. How much of it was his idea? How much of it was Vanderbilt and Guy Busick? Where did Chris Landon actually input and change things around? Who knows but we'll find out more as we get deeper into this mess that is scream 7 because it's inevitably going to come until further notice and we actually hear from spyglass themselves that the movie has been canceled and that they are going to sell the rights which is the likely or not the likely but is the outcome many of us would approve of that they sell the rights and someone else can revive scream 7 but nine times out of ten what i see them doing is canceling the project and deciding to hold the rights hostage that's what i could see them doing and deciding to just focus all their efforts and attention into the thanksgiving sequel that they have coming out soon from eli roth now diving into maxine we know maxine is dropping in 2024 and on friday i did a everything we know video but today i want to go over this statement from michelle monaghan who stars in the film as a detective with her partner played by Bobby Cannavale. Now, this is when she was speaking with Collider recently. She said, listen, I can tell you we've got an extraordinary cast. Mia Goth, she's incredible. Co-lead is Kevin Bacon. And I'm co-starring with Bobby Cannavale. Notice how she says she's co-starring with Bobby Cannavale. That's again because Bobby Cannavale stars as her partner who are trying to solve the mystery of what's going on. She mentions Elizabeth Debicki, Lily Collins, and Moses Sumney. We've got an amazing cast. We see Maxine now in a different decade. It's the third installment of the franchise. We shot it in LA, so that gives you a sense of where it is, where it's set. It's really an exciting film. I'm so proud. I've been a fan of Ty West's work as a filmmaker for a long time, and obviously I love A24, so I'm really excited to have a project with them. 
So she, of course, didn't really say too much that's overly spoilery. We know there's been test screenings happening. Uh, she didn't say much about her own role, but 100% she plays a detective and allegedly will be featured in one of the more action-packed sequences during this film. That's what I will tell you about Michelle, Mon Michelle Monaghan's sequences in this film. Also, if you're a fan of hers without spoiling if she lives or dies, I think you'll be fairly pleased with how far she makes it in this film. You'll likely be pleased or satisfied with her usage and again, that action-packed sequence that she is involved in. Stuff I've heard about it makes me very excited to see this play out on screen. It sounds very chaotic and she is involved in it. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about here is Chucky season three. So Chucky season three, we know began filming back in Canada shortly after Thanksgiving. And it would appear that they've wrapped filming because Jennifer Tilly at least has wrapped. She posted this image on Twitter saying that's a wrap. See you next time for Miss Tilly. Uh, I, of course, as you guys saw on Twitter, quote tweeted her telling her thank you and we know that chucky season three part two is supposed to be airing sometime in 2024 which is tonight at midnight so again happy new year to all of you um i would hope that with all of this stuff that they've been able to finish this quickly they can edit these episodes together and if the network is allowing them to they can put out the season the rest of the season in the spring, the summer, sometime before the fall, because it would be quite a shame if we have to wait all the way until October for four measly episodes. And then on top of that, I will tell you what would make it more frustrating, waiting all the way till the fall for four more episodes and then finding out the show is not getting a season four. That would make it even more infuriating to me because I would like to know what is going on in the second half of this season because it looks like it's gonna be way better than the first half. I'd like to know what's going on and witness it before the fall, just so that way if there's a cancellation announcement, it's not a, a gut punch to something that was very enjoyable, which looks like the second half of this season is going to be. But you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Who would you like to see involved with the faculty remake? Who would you like to see involved with Scream 7? Granted, those of you who want it to be canceled, I guess that wouldn't apply to you. Uh, who do you want to see involved with, or what do you want to see from Maxine? What are your hopes for Chucky season three, part two? We know we're going to meet the creator of the good guy doll. So there's a lot of stuff to expect, but what do you hope to see play out in the season? Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification and miss the video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, let me see any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.